truth, where the truth shall make you free. Hello everybody. Welcome to Know the Truth. For the truth is the only thing that can make us free. Austin is my name. Talking about the truth, today I want to discuss with you about something that is very, very dear to my heart. Something that is very consigning to me. The reason why this is very consigning to me is because of the way this thing is affecting our lives. The way this thing is destroying our society. You know, when you think about the black people in America, the first thing that comes into your mind is they are victims. When you think about the black people in America, you think about racism, police brutality, poverty, illiteracy, crime, high crime rate, you can name them. Nothing good that you can actually think about when you talk about blacks. This is concerning to me. The question is why? Why? Now you see blacks are on the street. Black Lives Matter, they are protesting, houses being burned down, buildings being destroyed, people being killed, we, they are fighting against police brutality, they are fighting against injustice, uh, so many things. Why is the life of black, is, why is black going through this? This is a question that we need to ask. That is why truth is very important or very, very important. Because truth helps us to discover ourselves. One thing about truth, truth deal with yourself. It exposes you to yourself. It helps you to discover some area in your life that you have made mistake. It helps you to discover some decision that you made that is the reason why you are going through what you are going through. Truth help us to re-examine ourselves so that we can align ourselves in the right place. So we need the truth. We need to discover the truth. For us to discover the truth, we need to sit down and reflect on ourselves. I think it is time for blacks to reflect on themselves. You know, when you talk about blacks in America, do you know that more than 40% or 40 million people identify themselves to be blacks in America? 40 million! More than 40 million identify themselves to be black in America. Let's assume in 50% of that black that 40 million vote. You know, you heard this word, black don't vote, black don't vote. That is not true. There is a statistic that say more than 50% of blacks vote. So, if 40 million people in America identify themselves to be black, and 50% of that 40 million actually vote, that is 20 million. That is a huge amount of people cast their vote. So what happened? You might say, why are you talking about vote? Because voting is the process of electing a leader. A leader to lead you, to govern you, to direct your life, to dictate how your environment is going to be, your day-to-day -day is going to be. That is true. When you vote, you elect a leader that will dictate your life, that will put things in place that will help your life better or that will destroy your life. So that's why voting is very, very, very essential, very important. So 20 millions of black vote. Election is less than one month today. A lot of you already voted and I know some of you is going to vote. Okay, out of that 20 million, 90% of that 20 million vote for one party. So only 10% vote for another party. You see? 
90% put their eggs in one basket, 10% vote for another party. 90% of 20 million, that's about 90, 19 million. And that 90% are the people on the street. That 90% are the people that are not satisfied. That 90% are the people that are angry, the Black Lives Matter. They are 90%. The people who are on the street, the people who are angry. Look at the lives of black today. Black are so angry and bitter and rage every day. Those are the 90%. Because the 10%, they are not angry. They are hopeful. They are confident. They believe in this country. They believe that they can be what God has created them to be. They know that there's racism. They know that there's discrimination. But they live above those because they have discovered the truth. I know this is going to trigger some people. And that is true. Are you angry today? You are part of the 90%. So the question is this. The 90%, how do you vote? Why do you vote? Why is it that your life or the life of blacks is still the same, even worse. What is the problem? I thought things would have been good by now. Because in 2008, a black man was elected as president of this great nation, Barack Obama. And I saw, I can play the video for you, where blacks, the old world, say history has been made. A black man has been elected president of the United States. We have won. We have succeeded our fight. Now we are going to enjoy the benefit of our civil rights movement. Eight years, this country was handed over to a black man. Nothing changed because Today, Black Lives Matter and Black are back on the street. What happened? Oh, you might give me all those excuses, white people. But white people elected him. He is the president. He has the key in his hand. In fact, the attorney general is black. They have the power to change everything. Why? Because they can't do it. But this is what they used to deceive you. Because a lot of you that are voting today, the reason why you're voting is because of racism. Oh, I'm going to vote against racism. Republican is a rich party. I'm going to talk about that later. The, the, the Republican is a, is, a, is a rich party. Uh, they, are, they are white supremacy. Your our problem is white supremacy. But we've been voting. We've been voting. So who are we voting for? Is it white supremacy? Because if your problem is white supremacy, but you've been voting, why is it that the life is not changing? Look at the area that blacks are living. Go to Baltimore, go to Chicago, go to Detroit, go to Washington, D.C. You can tell that nothing is changing, but you are blaming it on the party that you didn't vote for. The 10% are not blaming the party because the 10% is voting for that party. But you, 90%, you are voting for one party and you are leaving that party you're voting for to blame another party. Something is going wrong in this place. I know you might not like it because truth is very hard, very difficult to accept. Let's discuss this. Why are you blaming the party you don't vote for? Do you vote? The question, why do you vote? You know the reason? Because you don't vote for substance. You vote because you were being told to go vote and you are in bitter. You know, I talk to a lot of my friends who say, I'm going to go vote. And you ask them, why are they going to vote? I hate the president. I don't like Republican because of that. I'm going to go vote. That is not a substance. You are voting out of rage and anger. You know that anything you do in rage and anger, the result is not always good because you can't think well. Please, it is time for us to re-examine ourselves. It is time for us to be able to checkmate ourselves and vote right. I'm not telling you to vote for a Republican, but vote with purpose. The 10%, you're not going to see them on the street. The 10%, in fact, the 90% don't like the 10%. They call the 10% name, all kind of name, but your life, it's not changing. Look at the area that blacks are living. Police brutality. Who is in charge of the police? 
the hospital, who is in charge? The school, who is in charge? White supremacy? Something is not right. I'm going to talk more on that because I don't want to do a long video. It's almost like uh, 10 minutes now. I want to end the video here. But what I'm trying to say, please reflect on yourself. Know that racism will not be able to be eradicated from our society. As far as human beings exist, there's always going to be racism. There's always going to be sin. There's racism everywhere. You cannot eradicate racism. If you go vote because of racism, you will continue to vote and vote. You will not see results. You cannot force somebody to, to be to you what you want them to be. But you can be to them what you want to be. I think when we discover the truth, we will be able to change them change their life and turn them to be what you want them to be not forcing them but using the truth because you have been free you can see beyond their action and be able to help them there was a video of a black man that go into kkk uh, group and was able to rescue the leader and rescue a lot of the KKK member because this black man know the truth. I'm going to post the video, the link there so that you can watch the video. This is what people who know the truth can do. It is only the truth that can make us free. Not forcing people. The 90% you are forcing the party that you say you don't want to vote for to do what you want them to do. You can't control people. But you can change people by you changing yourself through the truth. As I said, I get so many things to say, but I'm going to stop here. You're going to go vote. Think the reason why you are voting. You don't want to live this way down for the generation to come. If you are tired of this lifestyle that blacks are living, become victim become people are sympathizing with the black take your destiny into your hands vote for a purpose vote for substance vote for a reason vote for a change a place where the kids can be able to go to better school a place where there's gonna people can live a better life a place where hope can be the symbol not a place of racism dividing our society because you have been told that somebody is a racist please discover the truth and your life will never remain the same thank you for watching if you like this video please subscribe rate and comment for more information on know the truth please look at the information below this video